how can we differentiate a function that looks like this? A variable raised to a variable. What is the derivative of x raised to the x? How can we find the answer? Well, first, we need to use a process called logarithmic differentiation. Let's set y equal to x to the x. So we need to find dy dx. Now, before you take the derivative of both sides of the equation, you need to take the natural log of both sides. So you can take this exponent and move it to the front. So we're going to have the natural log of y is equal to the natural log of x raised to the x. Now, in this form, we can take this variable and move it to the front. So ln y is equal to x ln x. At this point, we could take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. Now, what is the derivative of the natural log of y? The derivative of ln y is 1 over y and times dy dx. Now, on the right side, we need to use the product rule. The derivative of f times g is going to be the derivative of the first part, f prime, times the second plus the first part f times the derivative of the second g prime. So in this case, f is basically x, and g is ln x. So the derivative of the first part x is 1 times the second plus the first part times the derivative of the second part. And the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. Now let's simplify what we have on the right side. So we have the natural log of x, and then x times 1 over x is basically 1. So now what we need to do is we need to multiply both sides by y. y times 1 over y is 1. And so on the left side, we're going to have dy dx. On the right side, it's going to be y times the natural log of x plus 1. Now, if you recall, we set y equal to x raised to the x. So therefore, we need to replace y with that expression. So the final answer, dy dx, it's equal to x raised to the x times the natural log of x plus 1. So that's how you can use logarithmic differentiation to find the derivative of a variable raised to another variable. And this is the answer. So now you see how to differentiate x to the x. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and find the derivative of x raised to the sine x. Try that problem. So what's the first thing that we need to do? The first step is to set y equal to x sine x. Next, we need to take the natural log of both sides. So ln y is equal to ln x sine x. Once we do that, we can take the sine, move it from the exponent position, and put it in front of ln x. And so we have ln y is equal to sine x times ln x. Now at this point, we can differentiate both sides of the equation. So let's write d over dx on both sides. And we know that the derivative of the natural log of y is 1 over y times dy dx. And on the right side, we need to use the product rule. So we need to find the derivative of the first part, sine x. So the derivative of sine is cosine x times the second part, which we're not going to change, ln x plus the first part, unchanged, times the derivative of the second. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So there's really not much we can do in terms of simplification. So at this point, we should multiply both sides by y. So we have that dy dx is equal to y times cosine x ln x plus sine x 
divided by x. Now the last thing we could do is replace y with what it's equal to. Keep in mind, y is x raised to the sine x. It's the original problem. So now we can write the final answer. dy dx is x raised to the sine x times cosine ln x plus sine x over x. So as you can see, as long as you follow the steps, logarithmic differentiation is not that bad. You can learn this. Here's another problem that you could try. Find the derivative of ln x raised to the x. So what's the first thing we need to do? What's the first step? If you recall, the first step is to set this equal to y. So y is equal to ln x raised to the x. Now what is the next thing that we need to do? The second step is to take the natural log of both sides. So ln y is equal to ln of ln x raised to the x. And the third step is to take the exponent and move it to the front. So we have ln y is equal to x times ln of ln x. Now at this point, we can take the first derivative of both sides. So the derivative of ln y is going to be 1 over y times dy over dx. Once again, we have to use the product rule. So this is f, and this part is going to be g. So f prime is 1 times g, so ln of ln x, plus f, which is x, times g prime. Now, what is the derivative of ln ln x? Let's focus on that. How can we differentiate this expression? Well, first, you need to know that the derivative of a natural log function ln u is equal to u prime divided by u. And so u, we can clearly see that u represents ln x. So if u is equal to, let me write this here, ln x, what's u prime? Well, we know that the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So the derivative of ln ln x using the u prime over u formula, it's going to be 1 over x divided by u, which is ln x. Now, to simplify that expression, we need to multiply the top and the bottom by x. 1 over x times x is 1. And so it's 1 over x ln x. So this represents g prime, which we can write it here at this point. Now let's simplify the expression that we now have. So we have 1 over y times dy over dx. And that's equal to the natural log of ln x. And in this expression, we could cancel x. x divided by x is 1. So this is going to be plus 1 divided by ln x. Now we can multiply both sides by y. And so y times 1 of y will cancel. And so we're going to have dy over dx. And that's equal to y times ln of ln x plus 1 over ln x. Now the last thing we need to do is replace y with what it's equal to, the original problem, ln x raised to the x. So this is going to be the final answer. This is it. Let's try one final problem. Go ahead and find the first derivative of x raised to the 1 over x. So to begin, we need to set y equal to x raised to the 1 over x. And then we need to take the natural log of both sides. So we can move this to the front. So we have ln y is equal to 1 over x times ln x. And now we could find the first derivative of both sides. 
So on the left side, it's going to be the same, 1 over y times dy dx. On the right side, we have a product rule situation. So what is the derivative of 1 over x? Let's focus on that first. Now we have a rational function, so we need to rewrite it. And we can rewrite it as x to the negative 1. And now we can use the power rule. So it's negative 1 x to the minus 2. And we can rewrite that as negative 1 over x squared, by the way. So that's the derivative of the first part. And then times the second plus the first part times the derivative of the second part. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x. Now let's simplify. On the right side, we have negative 1 over x squared times ln x. 1 times 1 is 1, x times x is x squared. So we can factor out 1 over x squared. If we do so, we're going to have negative 1 over x squared. And then this is going to be ln x minus 1. Or let's say if we take out positive 1 over x squared. This will be negative ln x plus 1. And then we could just reverse the order of negative ln x plus 1. We can write it as 1 minus ln x. It might be better to just leave it like that. Now let's multiply both sides by y. So dy dx is equal to y times 1 over x squared, 1 minus ln x. And recall that y is the original problem, x raised to the 1 over x. So the final answer is going to be x to the 1 over x times 1 over x squared times 1 minus ln x. So you can leave it like this, but we do have a common base, x. So we could simplify this expression. What is x raised to the 1 over x divided by x squared? Because if we multiply these two, then this will go on the top. x squared will remain on the bottom. Well, let's say if we have x to the 7 divided by x to the 3rd. You know it's x to the 4th. It's x raised to 7 minus 3. So this one is going to be x raised to the 1 over x minus 2. So you could write the final answer like this. x to the 1 over x minus 2 times 1 minus ln x. So you could leave it like this, or you could leave it in this form. Both answers are acceptable.